inspires me every day is knowing that our guests are waiting a long time to come here and saving up to have those precious memories with their families. As an industrial engineer, I get a look at where the attraction's going to go, how the guests are going to interact with it, and what experience we want our guests to have. One of my favorite things about working in the industrial engineering department is that we really focus on the collaborative as opposed to the competitive work environment. So constantly I'm going back and forth and asking my counterpart who supports the other park and saying, how would you handle this situation? And kind of brainstorm a lot of things together. Industrial engineering is a team that supports all our operations across the business. We use data and analytics to really help our partners uh, optimize the business, optimize the guest experience. Coming from the outside and starting work at Disney was a complete paradigm shift for me. Now I needed to get inside the guest's head to understand their dynamics, wants, and needs. Something really that differentiates industrial engineering in our work is the way that our partners see us as internal consultants to the business. So when we think about park leadership or senior park leadership, they want to know what we're thinking. They want to know how would we do something different and they really want us to be pushing them to improve and to get better. We come in with a fresh set of eyes. In everything we do, we want to give the guests that wow. We want to completely immerse them in a new environment. I get the opportunity to support so many different areas. Distribution, horticulture, textile services, Disney Cruise Line, all the parks, entertainment, Disney vacation planning, Disney Springs. And here I get to partner with all of these to keep pushing forward and deliver on industry trends. Disney's uh, culture is really based on partnership and collaboration. We're storytellers, right? And our team uses data and analytics or process to tell stories and to figure out how to make an impact, right? At the same time, we balance that with, with our five keys that are uh, safety, courtesy, show, efficiency, which is a part of a lot of what we play with. And then we, we have our inclusion key, which encompasses all those other four keys and ties them together. That culture of always having those priorities and those filters in everything that we do really helps us you know, move work along, remove barriers, and push forward with whatever we're trying to solve at, at the moment. I love focusing and, and trying to find patterns and problem solving mostly. Then once I found out about Disney, it was really incredible that we could apply all of these problem solving and that mindset and working with people to a theme park environment. My team was tasked by senior park leadership to really help understand what was our going to be our reopening strategy, our reopening plan for Fantasmic, which is the nighttime spectacular at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We worked on really trying to combine and balance the demand and the capacity that we expected that show to have in order to make the right recommendations to maximize uh, the opportunity for guests to be able to watch that show as it came with new scenes from Moana and Frozen. It was a really rewarding thing to be part of that opening night after all the effort and all the work that our team put into it to really see how many people were experiencing it, how much fun they were having. Being able to bring my own family in and, and watch that show together, being able to see the Hollywood Hills Amphitheater filled out with guests and cheering for Mickey when he came out it was really rewarding.